The FDNY community is mourning the loss of Allison Russo, an EMS lieutenant who in Queens who was stabbed to death while on duty. A bunting ceremony just wrapped up outside the EMS station house where she worked in Astoria. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook is there live with more on that and the latest about the case from the police. Elijah. That's right, Chris. Well, I can tell you this truly has been an emotional day. As you mentioned, that bunting ceremony just wrapping up a little less than a half hour ago at this point. And I got to tell you, we've heard nothing but just kind and positive words about the lieutenant. In fact, she worked right there behind me. This is Station House 49 in Astoria, Queens. Six of those years she served as lieutenant, but we should mention that her career spans well over 20. FDNY members draping purple and black bunting on the exterior of EMS Station 49, where Lieutenant Russo proudly served. This was a tough one. She was such a great person, a heart of gold. She was here for the whole station. She made sure that we were all okay. She was a civil servant who dedicated her life to caring for the people of this city for 25 years. After her life was viciously taken away, we've heard nothing but positive remarks about Russo, including her love for the job and the time she served as an EMT. The fire department says the 61-year-old became an EMT with FDNY in 1998. In 2001, she helped save lives during the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center. By 2002, she was promoted to paramedic and then lieutenant in 2016. Close friends who we spoke with say she was an absolute joy to be around and work with. It's a tremendous loss that we will feel for a very long time to come. She loved the job. She loved working in Astoria. She enjoyed, uh, she enjoyed what she did. A procession which led the lieutenant's body from Mount Sinai, Queens, to the medical examiner's office brought out more than a hundred FDNY members. She was working for this city. She played, paid the ultimate sacrifice because of that. Police say Lieutenant Russo was on duty and had just left her station to get some food about a block away. But in an unthinkable attack, Russo was viciously stabbed to death in the middle of the afternoon. Police believe it's this guy, 34-year-old Peter Zizopoulos, who did it. He's been arrested and now faces murder and criminal possession of a weapon. She loved uh, all, the, all the guys under her. She used to call them her kids and... She was a, a happy person. And back here live, although Lieutenant Russo served as a mother figure for many she worked with, she sadly leaves behind her parents and daughter. We're live this afternoon here in Astoria, Queens, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Okay, Elijah, thank you.